Have you ever felt lost in a sea of misinformation? Struggling to distinguish what is truth and what is the lie? What are the things that are real and what are the things that are fake? What is fiction? What is fantasy? What is reality? Maybe you're wondering how to know in this post-truth era how we have different aspects that are making narcissism become more popular in society. Because as we look at society, as we look at life, as we look at the world as we know it, it's becoming more and more individualized in this aspect of having fake news, of having false truth, of not having truth be in the forefront of how we live, of how we look, of what we think, of what we do, of what we say, and of what we consume on a day-to-day -day basis. I want to talk to you today some about the dangerous consequences of living in a reality saturated with fake news, with false truths, and how this impacts your relationships and the narcissistic relationship that you're in, that you're stuck in, or that you could get in down the road. If you guys are new here, my name is Ben Taylor. I'm a self-aware narcissist on this channel to provide awareness about narcissistic abuse. I'm the founder of Raw Motivations, the creator of the NARC app, and your guide in the 45-day clarity challenge to help you get confidence and clarity about the situation that you're currently in, whether that's in the relationship or out of the relationship from a toxic person. We deal with de breaking the trauma bond, getting rid of the rumination, eradicating the triggers so that you're able to have healthy processes and tools and a systematic approach to stand up as the person that you're called to be versus being controlled by the toxic person and his agendas in your life. So we're on here to try to help you understand these things and to break free. If you want to break free, you can go to claritychallenge.net today to sign up and to see other people that have broken free. When we talk through this idea of fake news, and false truth. It's not a popular thing for us to talk about, and it gets very nuanced in society and political realms and religious realms and all different things. But in today's digital age, the abundance of information at your fingertips is a blessing and is a curse. Misleading news, manipulative images, fabricated narratives spread like wildfire, making it difficult to discern fact from fiction. This constant exposure can get you to a place where it des desensitizes you to be used to the deception, to be used to things that blur the lines between reality and falsehood. We see this so often in news media. We see this in social media. We see this in communication with your friends and family that actually have this aspect of being false truth. Now, what do I mean when I'm talking about false truth? Because there's a billion different rabbit holes we could go down when we're talking about false truth. What I'm talking about is people that are unwilling to be honest. People that are unwilling to face and deal with the actual facts of situations. Now, you extrapolate that out in our society and you've got multiple people in multiple stages of power and influence, control and communication that can use those different things to manipulate what you think, to manipulate what goes on in your mind, in your thought process. The whole battle for the eyes when we talk about social media and screen time and things like that, all they're looking for is how long do I keep you engaged on the platform to get you to connect with a certain platform, a certain influencer, a certain social media, a certain political party, all those different things have to line up. But what people are doing and what people are seeing is two different things. When it comes to this reality of fake news and a false truth, we start to see narcissism thrive. We start to see narcissism move more and more into society, into your life, into close proximity of your friends and family and your workplace. And we see this more and more and more. And I'm here to tell you the stark truth is it's not going to change. The way our society is going, the way the world is going, the way that entitlement and grandiosity and the idea that I want what I want when I want it is just going to keep happening. There's not this turn that's going to happen, but there is the chance of you being able to see it, acknowledge it, understand it, and to be able to avoid it so that it no longer has control over you. It no longer affects you in the way that it has for such a long period of time. But you've been in this relationship for a while now. You've been with a toxic person for a while or you've gotten out of a toxic relationship and you're like, what do I do now? Because you're inundated with a lot of different things that are saying they're going to help you or they're telling you to do this or are showing you the way, but you're not sure what to do. 
I recently did a one-on-one -on -one call with a new client that came into our Thriver community. And one of the things that she talked about was she was like, is there actually anyone out there trying to help? Because she's like, I went to therapists, I took different programs, I went through different things, and nothing actually was helping me change the mindset. None of it was scripted out. None of it was a systematic process. None of it was a step-by-step -step guide helping her get free. A lot of it was great information, good awareness, but none of it was actually teaching her how to be free and to step up into her power, understanding who she was and how to be able to move forward. We are so used to society, family systems, workplace environments being filled with so much falseness, so many lies that we've gotten used to it. And as a result, when someone comes out and they declare their truth, we're typically appalled by it or pushed away. But there's also a piece of being like, wow, that person's courageous. But I can never do that. When someone's vulnerable, you're like, wow, that was amazing how much they shared. Okay, how about you share it? No, I can never do that. Because we live in a society that shuns the truth. That as a whole, that shames a person for saying their truth. Shames a person for saying the truth that calls someone out, that are facts about a situation. You see, in a toxic relationship, your truth personally is irrelative. Your truth, his truth, my truth, everybody else's truth is irrelative. The only thing that you can go off of to break you out of the fog, the fear, the obligation, the guilt of being stuck in a toxic relationship is the facts. Because the facts don't care about your feelings. The facts don't care about your truth. The facts don't care about your perception. The facts don't care about your version of reality. The facts just are. The facts are just saying, this is what's here. This is what's not here. Did he hit you? He hit you. Yes, that's a fact. Doesn't matter his reality that I didn't mean to hit you. It was an accident. Doesn't matter your reality of like, oh, he just had a rageful moment. What matters is the facts. And people get stuck sitting in their own truth and not dealing with the facts of the situation. This starts to hurt your trust, not just in him, but also in you. You start to question your ability to be able to trust yourself, to be able to trust others, and it leads to increased vulnerability to manipulative individuals, such as narcissists. The erosion of trust in media, institutions, personal relationships creates this environment where deceptive behaviors continue to rise over and over and over again. You get to the place where you are used to the lies. You are used to the things that you've seen in your life or that you've grown up with, and it opens up the door for you to be with someone who is continually lying. This is where narcissists come in because they, they get into an environment where the truth is malleable, where they manipulate it to suit their own agendas. They use different things to make sure that you're able to only see what they want you to see. They gaslight you to believe only the reality that they're projecting versus the truth. Narcissists will use this over and over and over to manipulate your perception of reality. Capitalize on the confusion caused by the misinformation that they're going to give you to maintain control over you, to maintain this false image. You're stuck in a reality of falseness, fake news, false truth, confusing misinformation. This is where a narcissist will become more powerful and you'll become more susceptible to what the narcissist is going to do. So I need you to understand you have to be on this pursuit of truth based on the facts of the situation. That is the only thing that's going to set you free. It's frustrating because people are like, I just want this quick hack. I want to figure out this question. I want to answer this. And I'm like, the only thing that will actually set you free permanently will be you dealing with the facts. Well, I don't feel like I was good enough. Did he make the decision based on you were good enough? No, he made the decision to go be with someone else because that's what he wanted. Not because of anything you did. Well, he, he said he loved me. Okay, is he with you? No. Well, that doesn't seem very loving, does it? These are 
facts that we have to be able to go off of. Is he here or is he not? Did he abuse or did he not? Did he do this or did he not? We know this by the facts, what has been demonstrated, the evidence that was demonstrated, that was shown. These are the only things that will get you free, the only things that will pull you out of the lies that you believe. This is the part where you and a narcissist are similar. This is the part where you and a narcissist are similar because the narcissist is running away from the truth. The facts of the situation because of what it reveals about him. Oftentimes you're running away from the truth, the facts of the situation because of the hurt that it brings up. What I would have you understand today is the more you keep running from the facts, the more you keep running from the truth, you more the more you keep running from the reality that is actually there, the less you will actually find the reality you're looking for. The less you will find the healing when you run away from the pain. The less you will find who you're called to be as you keep running away from the truth of the situation. The less you will find the person that you are called to be to stand as a beacon of a light telling other people or communicating to other people or leading your family, you cannot do that when you're running away from the truth. If you're at the point today where you're ready to eradicate the stories in your life, the things that have affected you in such a negative way, and you're ready to move forward in your growth, then I want you to reach out for help. If you want, you can talk to me one-on-one. You can go to rawmotivations.com. would love to work with you. would love to interact with you. See if you're a good fit for our Thriver community. Move you forward. Or you're at the place where you're just like, I'm ready to jump in, get involved. Go to claritychallenge.net. Because we want to be able to give you the tools, step-by-step tools to deal with the facts of reality so you can be free. If you found this video helpful, you might want to watch some of the videos on your screen now to help you in your healing journey.